In the 15th century, Piero was one of the few who wrote on these irregular solids. The tru truncated tetrahedron and truncated cube were relatively easy to make, but the construction of other more difficult irregular bodies required the use of the golden mean, and thus not a whole number. For two irregular bodies, he was the only person in the 15th century who knew how to make them. Where he learned how to construct the two is unknown. The one ancient Greek source on this was not available to him in the 15th century. I would suggest that Piero was able to construct these irregular bodies because of his distinctive visual acuity. He brought his graphic skills from his preparatory, uh, preparatory drawings for paintings to his study of geometry. This enabled him to see and construct solutions rather than to read them from an ancient text. In one final example of his geometrical sophistication, Piero imagined and solved a famous problem in the history of mathematics, which originated with Archimedes in his treatise on method that was only recovered in the 20th century. Hence, Piero could not have known of the problem from Archimedes. And in fact, there's no surviving explanation from Archimedes himself on how to solve the problem. <clears throat> in a simplified form, Archimedes challenged a fellow geometrician to determine the common value of two crossing cylinders. This problem led Piero into a long discussion of measuring cones, cylinders, and ellipses. Because he had no available ancient or contemporary source that raised or solved this problem, in all likelihood, Piero undertook to imagine and to solve the problem from his knowledge of the architecture of crossing vaults, which were, uh, um, which were very common in the 15th century. They were seen in buildings, drawings, and paintings. In fact, in his On Perspective in Painting, Piero drew such a vault. This Archimedean problem in its use of a drawing from Piero's treatise and his graphic skills for painting are an excellent example of the way Piero combined Latin verbal culture of the university with the vernacular vis visual culture of the workshop. <clears throat>